Hello everyone, I'm Fry and here's a tutorial on how to infect your computer with this beautiful creation. In this video, I'll try to cover everything from the installation to the customization. Anyways, let's get started. There is two ways to install Mate Engine. First option is the easiest one. You just go into Steam, search Mate Engine, and there you go. But you will notice it is paywalled. That's because the Steam section is where you support the developer by buying the software. So if you want to support the developer and download the software, do this, and you'll be good to go. But if you're broke, here's the second option. Follow these steps. Search Meet Engine on your browser and click the top link. Go to the release section on the right side and press this. Scroll down and press the zip file. And it will automatically download the file. Once downloaded, extract the file out and just run the software. Easy, right? Before moving on, you might ask yourself, what's the difference then? Well, from my knowledge, not that much. The Steam has already set up everything like the AI chat and Steam has community mods where you can easily find downloadable models and use it immediately. While the free one in GitHub is slightly hands-on and you need to do a little work setting it up and manually add the model to yourself. More on that later. There is two options on importing models and if you download on Steam, you can do this and the other option. While if you download the free one, you can only do the second option. So keep that in mind. Go to Steam Workshop, to do that, press Community Hub, then Workshop, find the model that you want to use, and then subscribe. And the model will likely show at the bottom of the Meet Engine's model library. Now, the second option. The second option is find the website that has .vrm or .me models. The website I'm currently on is VR Hub, and search PGR series, and here you go. But note to self that Meet Engine only supports .vrm and .me files. Anything else like .fbx will most likely not work. You need to convert that file into .vrm in order for it to work. Anyways, let's import our JTV. Right click the model, go to settings, press the middle button, and find the model file you just downloaded. And that's how you make your fantasy into a reality. For everyone who downloaded Make Engine from GitHub and want to roleplay their fantasies, pay attention. This will be a little confusing to set up, so keep up with me and I highly suggest you close the software first. I'll try to make it easy for you guys to follow. So let's get started. Go back to the GitHub page where you downloaded the software. Go press the blue highlight on the release section. Scroll down to 1.8.5. Download the AI model, scroll down a little bit and download the streaming assets.zip file, once you downloaded the file, extract the streaming assets file. Then put the AI model on the extracted streaming assets folder. Cut or move the streaming assets folder to the Meet Engine X underscore data. And you're not done yet, but you can now test the AI chat when you run the software. 
the AI chat sometimes might load a little longer just like mine so just be patient. And we're not done yet. To customize your chat, press Windows and R at the same time on your keyboard, and then type this. If it directs you to the roaming section, just press Update at the top, then open Local Low, then open Shiny Moon, and then open Mate Engine X. Locate and open Zomi AI underscore prompt text. Edit its contents to your horny desired conversation on the system prompt. Remember to save your edits. After that, delete these files to force a reset. Don't delete or rename the Zomi AI underscore prompt text because it will unsave everything that you type on the prompt. After that, restart Meet Engine. And now, you can use your new prompt on chat. This section is just letting you guys know you can add custom sounds and animations by using Unity Hub. Unfortunately, I cannot give you instructions on how because it was it was really a terrifying experience for me and I'm still learning how to use Unity. So if you guys have any experience on modding or using Unity, you can possibly do anything in the software to be honest. Here's a montage of features that is available in Mate Engine. 